let's go back a couple of years, um, you know, last two years to now. How would you sum up your success? You've been obviously one of the most outstanding stories we've had in cricket for a long time. How would I sum up the success? Um, I think it's been uh, rewarding, obviously. My hard work has been rewarding. And um, I'm very glad that it's been rewarding at that rate. So, yeah, right now it's just to keep trying to do the same things and just to keep trying to improve. I mean, 150 wickets, youngest player to do so, that's not, that's not something you take lightly. So, sometimes, because you're not really focused on those type of milestones. I mean, when you read it, it I mean, it feels good to know that, but uh, I guess when you really look in hindsight, uh, then you realize what a massive feat it is. But at the same time, you don't want to focus on that, so you, 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 you tend to brush that aside. Being world number one comes with a lot of responsibilities, and in the last few years, you've had a couple of you've had a couple of run-ins with um, the ICC, I should say. Have you have you sorted out your anger issues? <laughs> um, I wouldn't say it's anger. I would say it's more uh, aggressive aggressiveness and it's more passion than anger. And I just think there's more, there's other ways to be passionate and aggressive. So obviously, you know, uh, like the ICC and there's the rules don't allow certain things. So just avoid them. What does your dad say when you get home and you're like, oh, I've been banned for another game? Well, I actually remember that that day when I got banned. And like life, so life went on. <laughs> Really? Yeah, I just got home and then we just watched TV. He didn't remind you at all? No. So being number one um, in the world, is that important to you? Um, I think I always wanted to be the best. So being at number one means that you are the best at the, at the time. So, yeah, I guess staying there is the hardest part. Um, but, you know, it's something that I've always dreamed of doing because as a sportsman, I'm, I'm quite, I'm very competitive. And um, in a com in, I'm in an environment where the people around me are competitive too, so it's it's perfect. Are you watching the game obviously now? And, and Bjorn took the first ball. Is what role do you prefer, taking that first ball or calming things down? When um, I enjoy just getting on the field and doing my thing. I like to get started as quick as I can. Um, so taking the first over is what I usually like to do. With an injury, recently you came back and there seemed to be like a drop of your pace. Um, is that, have you looked at that? Have you, and is that concerning for you? Um, obviously it is concerning because uh, you always want to be at the top of your game. But what I've learned is that you can never be. And um, uh, in your career there's going to be ups and downs. So this is another challenge that I'm, I'm facing. But uh, I'm not too concerned. Um, I've, I've tried to find a way. And uh, so far, I've found a way in the games that I've played. Um, it's gradually coming back. Uh, I'm feeling better and better. So, um, yeah, it's just another challenge. Um, let's see what the test is for you to, to overcome. The great Steve Waugh, um, in his recent interview, he was talking about how you are, will be an all-time great. Do you pay attention to what people say about you and how far you've come and where you're going? Well, it's always nice when someone uh, influential someone who's done so well, a cricket great, says something like that about you. It gives you hope, it fills your spirit. I think it's important, you know, um, to, 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 to honor the blessings that people uh, want or give your way. So um, it's, it's special that he's, he's done that. I don't really pay attention unless you know, I hear it somehow. Um, I don't look for it. But I've never actually heard that he said that about me, so I'm really, I'm really glad and it fills my, it fills my spirit. Winning uh, test matches is not a struggle for South Africa, it seems, but ODIs or T20s, there's a dip on and off. Where's the disconnect? That's a tough question. I mean, I mean, if you look at it overall, we're a very successful team in both formats of the game. At the, recently, you know, we've just we recently just lost against India, which set us back a lot. Um, however, that's the only series we've lost, the One Day Series. We won every other One Day Series we've played, so I don't understand what switch people are talking about. Um, test cricket is the only format where we've been winning every, consistently. everything consistently, but we also lost against England. Um, one Day Cricket we've been winning consistently too. I think. I think the, the major thing is in the tournaments. 
Um, obviously, everyone knows that about about us at the tournament. Um, it's just it's just that we haven't won a, a World Cup or an ICC. But you know, we're not putting too much pressure on ourselves. We know that it's just a, it's a game of cricket, and we're gonna try and, and do our best and play hard. You know. Well, can South Africa win a World Cup, though? I mean, you bring that up. Of course, we can. Of, yeah. Okay. We can win a World Cup. Of course, why not? Um, yeah, you have to be fortunate in a World Cup, and we just gotta do our best and believe that we can. Because we've got the players that, that that can that can beat any team on any given day. And um, yeah, we we all go in there confident. Whoever whoever's gonna go to the World Cup will go in there confident. There's no point going in and you're not confident. That's the statement that we've you guys have been saying for the last consistently for this tournament. I remember, A.B. De Villiers was a in one of the in one of his last matches as a, as a captain of South Africa, was saying that we've got the squad to beat anyone in the world and win a World Cup. And we're like, what are you basing that on? Because we've watched you guys at each tournament, at each ICC tournament, where it seems there's a, like I said again, there's a disconnect. So you guys can, but why aren't you? Why? Honestly, I don't know. I mean, you can ask God. <laughs> if we can get God, can interview God, can ask him. Okay, that will be my first question when I get to heaven. Ulu Tosipamla, obviously, such a revelation youngster, someone who also has been discovered from um, the Mzanza Super League. What hope does that give South African cricket? It gives South Africa a lot of hope in terms of fast bowling, in terms of young talent, you know, the future of cricket. The future of cricket is in secure hands, South African cricket. Um, there are, you know, guys like Luto, especially a black African canon. And it's not about black and white, but in the greater scheme of... Well, it helps. It, I mean, it's important in our country, you know. But just touching back on the World Cup, I mean, what can you say going into a <laughs> tournament? You can't say you're going to lose. And of course, we had the team to do it. A few things didn't go our way. A lot of the games got very close. So, you, like, when you lose, when you lose, what I've learned is that people talk about People analyze the loss so much, but when you win, there's not much analysis. But when you think about it, it's really, really small margin. Enoch Ngwe just won his second tournament. Just what does that say about the coaches in South Africa, especially young coaches, young black coaches, and also you as someone who's, play, who's playing under him? Yeah, I would say that South Africa's always been a powerful cricketing nation. And powerful cricketing nation means that everything below the pro tiers is running well. So there's always been good coaches, there's always been good players. And um, Enoch is just another one of those coaches, and who knows, maybe he will be the best coach. Maybe he's going to set the world alight. Uh, he's certainly um, made a statement um, with the success he's had recently. But again, the, the, the test is the longevity. Big Soweto Derby this weekend. Chiefs or Pirates? Definitely Chiefs. Okay. I heard it here from everybody. Thank you, Kafiso. Thank you. Always a pleasure talking to you. All the best, sir. Thank you.